So we're moving to the pharmacology of the next uh, uh, deworming drug. Uh, that's a drug that has action against all those worms and all of that. So this is what is known as levamisole hydrochloride. Levamisole hydrochloride. So levamisole hydrochloride has some other brand names like what? Levamold Lovesol. So what's the actions of this drug? We say it's what an imidazole derivative. So it, it's used as an anti-helminthic, that's anti-parasitic, and immunomodulatory drug. It was originally developed for treating worm infections, but was later used in cancer therapy and also autoimmune disease. You can still use it for worm infections. It was also later that they, they found out that it actually effective on this other um, diseases too. So what's the mechanism of action? It acts as a nicotinic acetylcholine receptor agonist. So it, it now cause what? A lot of acetylcholine into the cell, lead to para, um, para, um, paralysis of the worms. Yeah. So it also enhances immune function of what stimul by stimulating T cell activity and macrophage function. It inhibits succinate production. So this will now affect the parasite metabolism. So pharmacokinetics, we said that is well absorbed orally. Metabolism is in the liver. Um, excretion is via the kidneys. Half-life is approximately three to four hours. Okay, then levamisol. So uh, what's the clinical use? Just like we stated, it's effective against a lot of worms, including what? Ascaris and hookworm. Okay. So um, cancer therapy is used as an adjuvant in colon cancer treatment. Autoimmune disease is investigated for rheumatoid arthritis and skin disorders. Side effects is uh, you can have things like nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness coming up. Then sometimes it can cause low white blood cell count. That's what a granulocytosis. Can also cause liver toxicity. It can also have some neurological effects on you. Precautions is avoid alcohol when you actually take it. All right. Then um, not recommended during pregnancy or if the woman is uh, breastfeeding.